everybody welcome back to the channel flying ride here so on this video I'm gonna give you my uh, top three things I like about the 2021 road glide and uh, maybe the top two things I don't like there's not a lot I don't like so I am still riding the uh, 2021 uh, Road Glide Limited Flying Ride Senior. You see him back there? He's still on my 2020 Street Glide CVO. I've been riding the bike all day yesterday, all morning. I'm gonna do one more ride before I turn it back this afternoon. And I wanted to ride it long enough so I can give you my real impressions as opposed to just giving you very quick ones haven't really ridden it much and frankly you know I've only had it for 24 hours so for what it's worth this is uh, my impressions from someone that's never ridden a road glide before first time ever and I've only been using it for essentially less than 24 hours so number one the comfort of this uh, of this bike and maybe it's specific to the limited although i think they have the same suspension special limited cbo or it's the combination of the hammock seat maybe the combination of the way that these handlebars sit it's just incredibly comfortable and uh my wife rides with me all the time i rode her yesterday and she loved it so looks like i'm getting the hammock seat for my bike and a different cushion for the uh, backrest. But uh, that's got to be my top first impression is how comfortable the bike really is. Number two, for a stock bike, 114, this thing has plenty of pull. I don't have the stats off the top, but uh, I think. I don't know, someone will correct me down in the comments below. But these things, uh, I think, are just under 89 horsepower, and I forget what the torque is on them stock. I'll put it up on the video. But it's got plenty of pull. And for an average rider, you know, I basically, I've had my bike for a year, and I'm under 3,000 miles, so that's how much I ride. I think that's plenty of power. Now, of course, that's very subjective. So that's gotta be number two. And number three, it is just much easier to maneuver. I mean, obviously I'm on the highway now, so you can't really tell, but the fact that I don't have to move a fairing when I'm turning the bike on slow speeds, uh, this is just much easier to maneuver, especially at low speeds. So those are my top three impressions. I'm sure there's more, but I at least wanted to give you the top three after 24 hours. So what's the top thing I don't like or my first impression that I don't like? And uh, I just do not like the way it looks. Again, very subjective. I just, uh, I just love the way that the bat wing looks from the front. I love the way the bat wing looks from the back here and the cockpit view. Nothing wrong with this. This looks awesome. It's a beautiful bike. But in terms of my preference, clearly I went with the uh, I went with the Street Glide. So obviously I like that one more. But that's uh, that's really my first top dislike, if you would. And my second uh, dislike is the position of these handlebars relative to the seat and where I am. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Doing great. You going to the beach today? Uh, I'm just going to go straight back and then come on back. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Have you that was nice of them. They didn't charge me. They just ride around. So as I was saying, that's my top, uh, that's my top two dislikes. Not a lot of dislikes on this bike. So for anyone that's obviously considering purchasing one of these 
especially for long distances. I mean, this is just super, super comfortable. So a huge thumbs up on this uh, 2021 Road Glide Limited. Flying Ride Senior. Look at those views. Beautiful day in New Jersey again. I do want to test how much faster my CBO 117 is compared to the stock 114. So just up here, we're going to put them side by side off of second gear. We're not going to do anything crazy. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how much of a difference it is. Again, for those of you considering 117 versus a 114 on my bike, all I have is uh, Harley headers, whatever tuner Harley provides. I forget what the name of it is. And I've got Chromeworks four and a half inch mufflers on there. That's it. Doesn't have anything else. You can gauge for yourself. Is it worth the difference? What you get on that bike? You'll see them here. Uh, here in a second. Off of second gear. How much faster that bike is. And uh, hopefully it helps you uh, as you make your purchase decision. Side-by-side -side comparison off of second gear. Obviously just a tad faster. I am back on my 2020 Street Glide CBO. And uh, to all of my Road Glide friends, awesome bike. Enjoy it. But the bottom line for me is there is no substitute i am bat weighing all the way always been even after testing that limited i will forever be bat weighing it's a beautiful bike called Crimson Midnight Red. That's the man right there. So for those of you wondering what a stock 114 does compared to a slightly tuned 117. Again, all I have on this bike is the uh, headers installed by Harley and the Chromebooks four and a half and whatever tuner Harley Davidson uses. And you can see, it pulls ahead. Now, is that worth the price difference? Well, that is uh, a completely subjective question. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. Do me a favor, if you like this video, hit that like button. It really uh, helps out the channel. Also, remember to subscribe. We'd love to have you as the channel continues to grow. And uh, remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of uh, future updates. Thanks for watching.